Ever wondered how to bake Google's most advanced AI directly into your own creations? The Gemini API is the answer. It's the engine that runs inside Google AI Studio, enabling you to build intelligent, next-generation applications. Think of the Gemini API as your access line to this power, accepting your instructions, your prompts, and delivering dynamic responses. We'll show you how to hook this engine into your applications, websites, or backend systems. You can use your favorite programming languages like Python, JavaScript, and Go, or REST API commands. So you use Google AI Studio to prototype and explore what the Gemini API can do. And then you use the Gemini API to build and integrate those capabilities into your own applications. In this video, you'll learn how to install the Gemini API libraries and the Software Development Kit, SDK, for your chosen language. Retrieve and configure your API key in Google AI Studio and make your first API request. So lots of exciting stuff is coming up. Buckle up and let's get started. Okay, so the first step is to download and install the latest libraries for the Gemini API. Now these instructions are specific to your chosen programming language and detailed instructions are available in the Google Cloud documentation. We've included a link to this documentation in the description of this video and in the resources section of the course on Google Cloud Skills Boost. Typically, for programming languages like Python, Node.js, and Go, you can simply run a command to install the library. For example, for Python, run the pip install google genai command. JavaScript is similar and requires the npm install at google slash genai command. Now, to actually use the Gemini API, you need an API key and you can create one with just a few clicks in Google AI Studio. Here's how. So in Google AI Studio, there's a Get API Key button. Let's click that. This guides you to a page where you can generate a new key. And once generated, you see a string of characters. This is your API key. Now it's very important to keep your Gemini API key secure. If others get access to this key, they can make calls using your project's quota. This could result in lost quota or additional charges for build projects, in addition to accessing tuned models and files. This is something you'll want to avoid. So now that you've generated an API key, you can test it. Google AI Studio often provides a sample curl command when you generate a key. And this is a great way to quickly verify that your key is active. Simply copy the curl command and run it on your machine. And if your key is working, you'll get a JSON response from the model. Now, once you've installed the SDK and your API key is configured, you're ready to make your first request. The primary method for this is generate content, which sends your prompt to the Gemini model. This example code shows how to make a request using Python. And if everything is working correctly, the model should return a response. And it does. The output response includes a list of potential responses called candidates and candidate details, as well as feedback and information on the safety evaluation of the input prompt. This level of detail tells you not only what was generated, but why it was generated and if any safety or generation limits were encountered. Like with basic prompting, you can influence the output of the generate content by adding additional parameters, which are often grouped under a generation config object and safety settings. Experiment with these settings in Google AI Studio to find a balance that suits your application's needs. By leveraging the Gemini API, you can take your ideas from prompt to prototype and harness the power of Google AI technologies. So now that you've seen how to set up your environment, get an API key, make requests with generate content, and begin to explore parameters and multimodal inputs, a door has truly opened to a whole new world of possibilities. What groundbreaking idea will you bring to life first with Gemini? Don't just imagine it, start coding it. Check out the links in the description below to earn a Google AI Studio Skill Badge on Google Cloud Skills Post.